In this tutorial, we're going to show you how you can take an RSS feed from any website and integrate it into your website. And it's really simple. It's done with a few clicks. So what we're going to do is log in on the administrative side. So make sure that you have your login information handy. Enter your username and your password and sign in. Then go to extensions and then go to module manager. Click on that. And what we're going to do is make this in a module. So basically we can place this within our web page. So we're going to put this on the right side because we have a menu on the right side of our page. So that's where we're going to place ours. Now for the example we're going to use Twitter because we have a Twitter feed that we can pull from. But if you have a website or if you belong to any other social network and the uh, information is output or via um, RSS feeds, then you can take that RSS feed and do the same exact thing. So now that we've logged in, we clicked on the module and we selected new. So now we're here. We're going to click on feed display. What that does is allow us to display the feed of syndicated content, which is what an RSS feed is. Now we're going to give it a title or give it a name and this will show up if we have it uh, listed here or have the show title enabled. Also, you want to make sure that you have this module enabled or else it won't show up. Then you want to put it on the right side and you can just, you know, here the position, click on it. You're going to see, you know, the right and just select it. Um, by default, it is available on all uh, pages on your menu, which is fine for this example. Um, what you can do is change that if you want just by selecting uh, this option and then you can just pick what pages you want it to be on. But for the example, we want to have it on all of the pages. And I'm going to go and grab my Twitter feed. So I'm going to go and select that. I already had it open. So I'm going to go back here. I'm just going to paste that right here. Now the um, only thing you really need to be concerned with is the uh, number of items that you want to show. If you want all of them to show, um, we don't recommend that because it can get pretty long. So you want to select just a few. So just by default, you can select three. If you want, you can change it to a different number. Um, but we're going to go with the default option of three. Then um, that's all we need to change. We're going to go ahead and click apply because we want to see how it turned out. Um, because we are able to place it on our menu, you have different items that are on your page. So you can kind of pick and choose where you want it to go. So we want to see where it ended up. So we're going to go back to our test page that we have set up and we're going to refresh. So here we are. We have it set up. And as you can see, everything is here. We have our um, where the tweets are coming from, which is our Com Tactics. Twitter accounts and you can follow us at Com Tactics on Twitter um, and what you can also do is click on the link um, that we have with our tweet so you click on it and then it takes you out to Twitter and it shows you the actual tweet inside of Twitter and that's all you have to do to get your RSS feed to display as a module in your web page. Now we will have other tutorials um, about this and what you can do also don't forget to click save. But if you want to learn more visit comtactics.net where you can get a lot more about using sites such as Joomla but then also information on using social media. So we hope to hear from you soon 